Welcome to Foxtech and today we're diving into how you can turn off apps on your iPhone without deleting them. This is a very common question and it can mean a lot of different things depending on your perspective. So we're going to explore all the options to help you manage your apps effectively without losing any of your data. So let's get started. At first, let's talk about the most important and straightforward method, which is swiping up to close your apps. If you, of course, double click the, click the home button or swipe up from the bottom of the screen, you'll see the all of the open apps section. And of course, you can swipe up to close any of the app. And obviously, don't get started with this. It's not like removing the app from any like your device or anything. It's not essentially the main option, but this is probably something you might mean as well. I mean, the app is still installed on your device and can be reopened anytime. And if you're looking for a method that's going to free up some storage space without losing any, your, any of your app data, offloading your apps is a very good option. Offloading essentially means that the app itself is removed from your phone, but all the essential files and data remain there. So this way, if you ever decide to reinstall the app, your data will still be there and you can still pick up where you left off. To offload an app, you need to go into your settings, open up the app and navigate to the uh, general section and in there select iPhone storage. It's going to take a second to load up and here you'll see a list of all of your open apps. I mean, all of your apps along with how much space they're taking up. So tap on the app you want to offload and you'll see an option to offload this app. And as I said, this process keeps your apps documents and the data while removing the app itself, giving you more storage space without losing any of your important information. So yeah, that would be about it. But another useful method, which is a little bit off topic, is using app limits. This doesn't delete the app, but it kind of restricts how long you can use it. So this might be great if you want to reduce your screen time for certain apps. But yeah, this is how you can turn off apps on your iPhone without deleting them using the screen time method where you can set up the app limits. But that would be about it. Hope you found this video useful. If it did, hit the thumbs up, subscribe below, and I'll catch you in the future.